specific frequency number for that bracelet, we enter it and then we start searching. It can happen in the blink of an eye. A person with Alzheimer's could walk away and not be able to find their way home. That's what happened with Helen Cook. She was alone for minutes, and the search for her has lasted more than a week. And her family is wishing they had taken more precautions. Get help. Um, know the disease, learn the disease, and be a step ahead of it. Chances are you know someone who has had the disease. 25,000 people have Alzheimer's in the Kansas City metro area alone, and 60% will wander. Some of those wandering behaviors are related to depression, urinary tract infections, boredom. But this technology can track down your loved one in case they do wander off. It's part of Project Lifesaver. Police departments like Westwood offer these bracelets that have specific frequencies. It's like GPS. For people that have uh, advanced or even the beginnings of dementia or Alzheimer's, uh, it's a great thing for caregivers to have. This allows police to use antennas and track down a person in a 10-mile radius and quickly. There are other similar options as well. This is an app that you can install on your smartphone that can locate the device and the person right from your phone. For 41 Action News, I'm Shannon Halligan.